Hi folks, in today's video I'm going to be comparing the Keen Nexus Pro versus the Keen Nexus Explorer. These are two boots by Keen, very similar but do have some distinct differences, so let's get stuck right in. So just before I get stuck in, I'd just like to say that I've had these for well over a year now. I did do an initial impressions on the Nexus Pro boots and this, this is now probably more of a long term review for these guys. Whereas the Explorer boot, I've only had these for a couple of months and I've had around six days use out of these. So this is more of an initial impressions. But ultimately they are the same boot. The obvious difference is, as you can see here, that has got a mesh upper. Where these ones are the new buck leather. Right, what we'll do is we'll start on waterproofness and breathability. Both these boots have the Keen Dry technology membrane and I find that they are adequate for most days other than the absolute wettest of days. I find if, you're, if it's wet and rainy all day, they do tend to let in a little bit and your feet are a bit damp towards the end of the day. So I give these a solid 3 out of 5. These, I think I would mark these as slightly higher, maybe 3.5 to 4 out of 5. I just feel the waterproof, the waterproofness out of the leather is just a little bit better than the mesh efforts. However, they're both adequate for the UK use. So next up, we'll talk about comfort and fit. So straight out of the box, these are comfortable as they're like slippers and they've got a wide toe box with a narrow heel fit. The the Nexus Pro has the heel lock system, which is absent actually from this one. Comfort and fit is obviously subjective. We all have different shapes and sizes of feet. So I think these are more suited for somebody with a wider foot or if they just prefer that room for their toes to splay out in the toe box. So comfort and fit wise, I give these both five out of five. Again though, they might not suit you. So do try them on before you commit to the purchase. Design. Design, probably like comfort and fit, is subjective. What I think might look good to me might not look so good to you. But for me, I think both these boots are absolutely fantastic. These are very cool. I know these have been worn quite a lot. I will find some footage of them brand new. But yeah, I think these are very stylish. The leather ones, when brand new out of the box, these could be worn down the pub quite happily. Um, Again, I'll show you some footage of these boots looking brand new, straight out of the box. If you don't like the green laces, don't worry, we do give you a pack of black laces to go. So yeah, for design and look, I'd give these 5 out of 5. So, durability next. What can I say? I've had these since January 2022. We're now in May 23. These have predominantly been my go-to boot throughout 2022 and they've had a lot of abuse. I've neglected them, haven't really washed them and they've done actually quite well. You can see there, they're starting to split in the typical places where you would expect a, a boot to split. They're still waterproof as it stands and they've had quite a lot of abuse from Snowdonia in Wales up to Skye in Scotland. They've seen it all. Whereas the leather boot, I've only had these out for six days and so far so good. Um, again, it's a, an initial impressions at this stage for these. But all in all, I'd probably give durability. It's difficult to score that actually. Three to four out of five maybe. The leather boots you would expect to last a little bit longer than the fabric boots. But uh, we'll see how these go throughout the next few months. For grip and control, you can probably see in the video, these have identical tread patterns. It's this multi-directional sort of horseshoe pattern. There are four millimeter lugs and they are super grippy in most scenarios. Um, the only time I've really felt myself slip on occasion is if I'm sort of contouring going sideways around the mountain. I've slipped very occasionally. So for that, I would give these a four out of five for the grip, for control, um, they're lightweight, they give you a lot of freedom like you would get with a pair of trail shoes. So yeah, 4 out of 5, really good boots in that retrospect. Comfortable, lightweight and grippy. So next up is price. These retail at £145. 
whereas these seem to come in at £160. So these are slightly cheaper. It depends what you prefer. If you prefer fabric boots, then you're going to save £15-20. If you prefer the leather boots, they will be slightly more expensive because uh, obviously it is a more expensive material than the mesh. So it's down to user preference. For me, they're, they're both good. Um, I can't pick between the two. So for price, I would probably give them, they're not cheap, but they're not expensive either. I'll go for three out of five for both. So as I've touched on, these boots are identical fit and shape and size. The preference is whether you want leather or whether you want to go for a mesh instead. As you can see with the insoles, they're also identical. They've got their emission statement for their green credentials on the, on the insole there. They've got some arch support. And I don't know if you can see there, but there is a little bit of padding as well. So they're not that sort of cardboardy type insoles that you can get in some boots. They do have a little bit of support and comfort in there. The one plus that the Pro have over the Explorer boot is I do prefer the lacing system. It's just a little bit quicker. The top has a hook which is easier to tie up where these don't have the same setup which is quite odd. You'd expect them to both be the same. As I touched on earlier, the Pro has that heel lock system whereas this one doesn't. But I honestly can't really notice the difference with that heel lock system. Once they're nicely tightly tied up, they're both extremely comfortable. So yeah, there's not a lot to dislike about these boots. So on the whole, I would recommend them. If you have any questions, do please drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's all, the, that's all I've got time for. I'll catch you next one. Cheers.